days out from a legit super fight between two UFC champions. Give an idea what the emotion is like for you right now. I think he said it. I think he just said it. It's the legit super fight. I mean, you got two dudes in their primes, two light guys. I mean, we're truly going to see a display of, uh, of what it's called to be a mixed martial artist. I know he's tough. You know, he, he knows what I'm about. I'm one of one, baby. Olympic champ, UFC champ. So he's fighting he's fight the double champ. Let's, let's get that straight. I'm out here. Not just, you know, for the victory for myself and to add to my legacy, but also for all the 125 pounds that are looking to someday become a world champion in the UFC. This is much bigger than me. You think he makes the weight? I think he'll make the weight. Uh, either way, if he doesn't make the weight, I still want to fight him. If he's, he's, if he's, uh, if he's five over, three over, two over, man, Henderson Hudo wants a piece of that snake. Would you it's, it's the year to skin the snake. 2019. How about you? You're looking pretty swole right now. Are you going to have any problems making the way? No, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm solid. I'm solid. I'm feeling good. I'm healthy. I'm, uh, I feel good. It's always a struggle, obviously, but it's not. That, that, that's not. That's, that's, it's, we're going to make weight. We're going to recover like, like a champ. What does that mean to you? I mean, it, it seems like you're accepting the burden of the, of the flyweight division on your back. I mean, is that adding pressure, difficulty, thinking that the future may really lie in your hands? I, I, why not? I, I, I always tell people all the time, if you're going to throw the hell Mary to somebody, throw it to me. I've, I've gone through adversity before, whether I was, you know, 31st at the Olympics, winning gold, youngest in history at that time, whether it's being Demetrius Johnson, the fighter one underdog, and being probably the greatest of all time, to, you know, surviving the California uh, the, the California fires. I mean, I'm, I'm on it, man. If there's anybody that you guys should never count out, let it be known. He's right here, the messenger. Henry, do you think you, as a champion, are being disrespected with the potential exit of the flyweight division? Um, I don't see it like that. I, I, I see there's a resolution. That's the way I see. I see there's a resolution. I think, you know, uh, this is the, this is this is the new Henry. If you guys notice my persona, sure. it's all changed because it's because I, I care about this division. I care about what the you know what it has to offer for the for the future of, of our weight class, not just me, but. Everybody and their mama literally. Have you been promised a shot at his bantamweight title if you win? Once I beat him, we'll talk to we'll talk to Uncle Dana. Because I feel like once I beat TJ Dillashaw, he's gonna it's like the champ can't defend his title unless he unless he fights the other champ that beat him. So that's that, that's gonna be a negoti uh, negotiation stop with the UFC. And at, at the end of the day, guys, I'm a prize fighter. I'm looking I'm I'm, I'm looking to get paid whether whether I fight at 25 or 35. Could you skip a step and fight for his 35 pound title if he misses weight this weekend? Why not? I like that idea too. Why not? Why not, right? Just, just continue to keep adding to my legs. What you got, Captain? Come over here. <laughs> this man cannot this man cannot be quiet. No, Go can't. ahead, let him have it. Listen, if he don't make weight, I say he let's just put it on now. We'll put the gold medal on the line. We'll put the flyweight strap on the line. He brings his his bantam weight strap. Let's throw it all on the table. Put the flyweight division all on his shoulders. This guy loves these moments. He can overcome this ad adversity. No problem. Let's put it all on the line. Everything. Come Saturday, January 19th. Put the flyweight division, the gold medal, the bantamweight, and the flyweight strap. Put it all on the line. We're going to take him out. He ain't coming down to this weight class and think he's going to kill the flyweight division. These guys, these flyweights ain't dying. They're multiplying. How does it get done? Where do you guys hold the advantage, coach? Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Wrestling, striking, jujitsu, you name it. He's gonna, he's gonna take him. He's gonna take him into deep waters. Final question, Henry. Uh, you mentioned you're a prize fighter, obviously, but this being on ESPN Plus, no pay per view and everything. How does that all work out in terms of your compensation? How, well, the how way, do you think that sense? Right. The way I see it, there is just like look, look at the opportunity at the game. main event. Fox Sports was, it's, and, it's, and I said it before, I said, it's a, this is a Cinderella story. I beat this guy, I resurrect the flatwood division, and and that's all there is to it. I'm going to sacrifice some of my money for the sake of others. But after this fight, <laughs> let it be known, I am a price fighter, so Uncle Dana and everybody's going to have to kind of cough up, because I, I ain't fighting for free. All right, thank you guys. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Henry. Thanks, Henry.